Good morning, everyone. This is Victoria DeCarnas with WGXA News, and this morning I'm in Perry picking up where our Claudia Coco left off yesterday evening with this inmate search, this escaped inmate search out of Houston County Detention Center. Uh, we have the very latest updates, and I'm going to share them with you now. Now, we actually reached out to Major Alan Everidge. He is the, uh, he's part of the detention center, the Houston County Detention Center, and we spoke with him, and he told us that he, uh, they actually saw uh, Shane Sape uh, around 2 this morning and they were unable to capture him. Uh, they, he was actually seen around the Oliver Place Apartments on Gray Road in Perry and that's exactly where I'm at this morning. As you can see some of the officers on duty who are helping out are actually on scene here. Uh, just moments ago, just moments before I came on Facebook Live, I saw them come around through here behind this wooded area. Just around in this area right here. They just came out of there. Um, and they were looking, uh, it looks like if they were continuing in their searches, that, and that's exactly what they're doing this morning because the Oliver Police Apartments are actually down this road right here on Gray Road in Perry. This is actually behind the detention center. You can see it right there. Um, and as if you've been following the story, you know that just yesterday, two inmates were out on trash detail and they both fled on foot. One of those inmates has already been captured. He's already back behind bars. But as of this morning, there is still one missing, and that's who we're looking for this morning. Shane Sape. Sa uh, Shane Joe Sape is his full name. He's being described as a five foot nine male, a white male. He weighs about 200 pounds. He is bald, but he does have blonde hair. He does have a mustache and a beard uh, that we know of this morning. And he was last spotted from yesterday with a green jumpsuit. Uh, but they do believe that he disposed of that, he got rid of that. Um, and you can actually see, sorry to interrupt, but you can actually see some of these sheriff's deputies with heading over to the apartments right now. This is about the second time that they make their way earlier. I saw them just walk over there. It looks like now they're just taking them all by car. Again, they're heading to the Oliver Place apartments. That's where deputies, sheriffs last saw Shane Safe, that escaped inmate that we've been looking for since yesterday evening. Um, and we do know that they saw them around 2 a.m. Unfortunately, they did not get him. Uh, he did break into an apartment there. Fortunately, though, nobody was home. So that's the good news there, but we're still continuing the search. This is going on for quite a number of hours now. Uh, and we've been here all morning long. They're actually set up a perimeter just behind the county court uh, detention center. I'm um, on Gray Road. They also have King's Chapel Road just behind me. They have Houston Lake Road and also and also Keith Drive that I was on later uh, earlier this morning. They had cars lined up with their uh, spotlights on since five this morning. I've been out here. Um, they've had their spotlights on. Everyone has been really vigilant. We've been keeping up with these updates from the Houston County uh, uh, Police Department. And it looks like all of these cars are heading this way. It's Looks like all of their their detail is actually working their way this way. Uh, we're going to jump inside the car and see if we could follow them uh, as of this morning and see what's going on. Unfortunately, though, we were not able to get near the apartments earlier. Just stick with us here. I'm going to grab my equipment and see if we could follow exactly what's going on. You're seeing it here first live on WGXA on Facebook Live. Excuse me while I get all my equipment together and see what's going on down the street. Again, we're still looking for that escaped inmate. If you're joining us just now, excuse the wobbly camera. We're working on getting some new details. Hi there. Hi, Alan. We're on Facebook Live this morning. Do you have any new details. This is Major Alan Everidge with Houston County Detention Center. Do you have any new details for us this morning? Uh, we have just completed a search of the wooded area directly behind the facility. Uh, we were able to recover both the inmate jumpsuits and shoes that they were wearing uh, when they uh, fled. Uh, we are now going to do a, a canvas uh, in a nearby neighborhood uh, apartment complex. We're going to go door to door. Um, so. We know that our man that we captured last night uh, was still in his underwear and t-shirt and socks. Uh, we have no reason to believe that the gentleman we're still searching for 
uh, is wearing anything different. That he's probably in his uh, boxers and t-shirt and socks. And uh, we spoke with you earlier and you told us that the Oliver Place Apartments is where you saw him earlier at 2 in this morning. Is that the same area that you're going to be searching we're, we're now? We're going to go back again and, and research it. We've had people in there all night. Uh, we did not go door to door uh, at 2 o'clock in the morning and, and alarm people and, and maybe create a situation. So uh, now that it's you know daylight and people are starting to move, we're going to try to go door to door just to make sure there's nothing. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary at any apartment and every car there in the lot. And do you have any uh, things that you want to tell the surrounding community because they're like you said they're at an apartment complex uh, where you were searching earlier today. Is there anything that uh, citizens should be looking out for as of this morning? Um, we've of course given the picture uh, to your stations and we're asking that if, uh, if y'all will show these so people know what they look what he looks like but if you see him call 911 do not approach him um, to call and we're, we'll be out till we find him. Awesome. Is there any other things that you want to add uh, with the search that's going on? I understand there's going to be a lot of law enforcement officers in the area, Kings Chapel, Gray Road, Keith Drive, House of Lake uh, today um, and we're going to be on foot and in cars and so uh, just if you don't have to be in the area, avoid the area uh, but if you do at least drive slow and be careful because uh, it's just going to be a lot of unusual activity out today. Awesome. And just to confirm, you are saying that uh, he is more than likely in, an, in a t-shirt, underwear, and socks. Uh, as far as we as know, far we, as have you no, know. we have no evidence to indicate anything else. We know that he's dropped his jail uniform and boots, and um, when we captured the second individual, that's what he was found in. And we have no reason to believe that this gentleman has found clothes. And um, you said that he broke into those apartments all over place. Did you see anything missing in any of the apartments that he broke no, into? Nothing was determined to be missing. Uh, we, we had the homeowner trying to check, and, and she did not find anything that appeared to be missing. Alrighty, thank you so much. So you heard it here first, everyone, um, on Facebook here at WGXA. That was Alan Everidge. He's part of the Houston County Detention Center. Right now, I'm going to just repeat everything that he had told me. Uh, right now, they are still searching those Oliver Place apartments. Uh, they just went back. He told us that they found the jumpsuit that both of those uh, escaped inmates were wearing um, when they picked up that first inmate he was just in a t-shirt underwear and socks and they are expecting Shane Sape the one that we were looking for this morning to be in those same uh, attire that same outfit and we do know that when he broke into that apartment it appears according to Al, uh, Major Alan Everidge that he did not take anything uh, um, uh, out of the ordinary they actually had uh, the woman who lived in that apartment check and double check that nothing was missing as of this morning um, so we're going to continue to keep you guys updated again they're searching the area and you heard him say it if you see him or you know any about his whereabouts do not approach him um, do not approach him just call 911 immediately um, and they will handle the rest of that of course if you do know anything you have to call 911 uh, we're going to continue to keep you updated. We're, again, his description, he is standing tall at 5'9". He weighs about 200 pounds. He is bald. He does have a mustache and a beard, and he does have blonde hair. So um, we're still going to be on the lookout. They've been searching this area around here. You heard him say Kings Chapel Road, Gray Road, Houston Lake Road, and Keith Drive are the areas that they're still searching. And again, they're going back into those apartments. They're doing door by door. They're going door by door and seeing... Um, seeing exactly if they can pinpoint uh, where he is. Uh, Tommy, I'm actually seeing your comment. How did they get out of the jail? That's a good question. If you have not been following us uh, since yesterday, he was actually going on trash detail with a deputy here at the jail. Um, and the, it was him and another inmate. They fled on foot. Uh, and that's how they escaped from jail. Um, yes, Jessica, that's right. They were taking out the trash. They were doing a trash detail with a deputy. It was two of them. Um, they both fled on foot. One of them has been caught, and we're looking for that second one this morning, Shane Sape. We have his photo plastered all over our newscast. We have it on our Facebook page. We have it. I have it on my personal Facebook page, uh, w, uh, Victoria DeCardinus WGXA. It's tagged here in this video. We also have it on Twitter. Share that photo. People need to know exactly what this man looks like. He needs to be taken back to jail. Um, he's facing some serious consequences this morning uh, for leaving. Um, Donna, you're asking how he can he be bald and have blonde hair? Well, his hair is naturally blonde, um, so the, figuring that his beard and his mustache might be blonde in color. So that's a, that's a description that we're just passing along to you from Houston County Detention Center. Um, so we're going to be here all morning long. Again, if you see him, if you have any details about him, um, 
you do not approach him. If uh, they're asking you to stay away from the area, uh, we were going, I'm gonna tell you the roads again, Kings Chapel Road, Gray Road, Houston Lake Road, and Keith Drive. They're telling you to avoid that area. They have officers surrounding here. They've had Georgia State Patrol. They've had Houston County Sheriff's here, U.S. Marshals as well. His initial charges, Jessica, are all on our web story. If you can just look that up on WGXA.TV, it's that first story on our webpage so you could see all of his initial charges. I, I believe they were nonviolent charges, but uh, I don't, don't quote me on that. I, can't, I don't remember every single charge that he was initially charged on. Um, I'm going to just go through some comments. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask me. Uh, I'm here to answer all the questions that I have so far. Um, I'm seeing some Alrighty, so no more further questions, but of course, if you have any, leave them in the comments below. I'm going to do my best to answer them back. Uh, we are live this morning on Fox 24. I'm doing live reports all morning long regarding the search of this escaped inmate, Shane Sape. Go on our webpage, go on my Facebook page as well. We have all of the details regarding who he is, how tall he is. Um, all right, I'm seeing some more questions. Christy, excuse me. Are they possibly suspecting that he could be gone from the area? As of right now, no. We just spoke with Alan Everidge. He just told us that um, they're still in that same area where they last saw him at 2 this morning at the Oliver Place Apartments, and they're researching that area. Now they're going door to door. Um, Hi Tara, I'm actually on Gray Road in Perry. Uh, thanks for tuning in, by the way. We are just following some developing news from overnight um, of this escaped inmate that escaped yesterday evening from the Housing County Detention Center. This is where they're believe that where they last saw him. Excuse me, around 2 a.m. at the Oliver Place Apartments. Um, Jessica, why do they think he's still in the same area? Because they just saw him a few hours ago and they've had this perimeter set up for hours. I've been here since around 4, this 4.30 this morning I got here, 4.45, and they have been here all morning long, so I'm guessing they have also been here all night long as well. Do they need to offer a reward? That is a good question. That's something I will, I'm going to ask Alan Everidge. You'll hear more from him later on uh, in our shows starting at 5 p.m. So this is Gray Road where I'm currently located. Turn this around. The apartments where they believed uh, that he, where they last saw him, is down that road there. Tara, you live in Perry. Awesome. I think everyone, Tara, will feel so much better if they do catch him. Um, again, if you do see him, if you know about his whereabouts, please do not approach him. That's coming from Major Alan Everidge of the Housing County Detention Center, do not um, approach him. Tina, you're asking if they are considering him armed and dangerous. As of right now, I have not had that word, but they're just uh, just telling you to just stay away from him if you can. If you do see him, don't, don't approach, it, approach him. This is not something that you all as citizens should handle. This is for the work of the law enforcement to handle. Caroline, so he's in the woods right beside you somewhere. That's a good question. Let's hope not, um, or let's hope that he is knowing that they have uh, that they have this area surrounded. They have they do have canines around here as well. I have Keith on Andrews asking if I should can show a picture. I will absolutely do that. Let me just grab my other phone here so I can show you a picture of what exactly is going on. Morgan, I get you that picture. Can I get a taped interview with you in just a moment? Oh, have any more interviews going on? I just got you on Facebook Live. I'm trying to show everyone on our Facebook a picture of the suspect that we're you still got looking for. We did. Okay. We're gonna work to get you that picture. Um, can you just tell us, I'm gonna put you back on Facebook Live, uh, Major. This is Alan Everidge with the Houston County 
uh, detention center. Now, some people are asking if, if he's originally from the Perry area. Do you know that? When he was arrested, he was living in Warner Robins. Okay. Uh, but we know he has family members in the Macon area. We also know he's had some ties to Milledgeville, uh, also some to Wilcox County. Uh, so he has some, uh, some associations around Middle Georgia. Alrighty, and we actually have someone, uh, Tina Cornelius, she's actually asking if he is considered armed and dangerous this morning. We have no reason to believe that he's armed. Uh, he is an escapee, so we consider him dangerous. Uh, this is a man that's uh, now fled and made his charges worse, so you just don't know what he's thinking. Uh, so we would consider him dangerous. We have no reason to believe he's armed at this time. Alrighty, so you heard it here first on WGXA on our Facebook Live. We're going to wrap things up here and we're going to continue on uh, searching for him. So just stick with WGXA on air and online.